it's critically important or, or on a matter that clearly has such societal implications <coughs> that that evidence base is clearly articulated and communicated to all those interested parties, whether they be a single member of the general public or, or, um, or, 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 or MPs like So she's, she's asked the question, what about the information that's given to the general public? She's just talked about cantrails and geoengineering. So why is it that 99.9% .9 of the UK population think, well, not think that it's a conspiracy theory, they don't even know about it. So what have they been, where, who have they been telling? You're dead right, it hasn't. Has at times led to a, um, a, a, a failing of the communications process, as, as I say. As yes, you don't communicate it because, you know, the public would say no to chemtrails. And I, again, speaking in personal capacity, have put a, a lot of emphasis over the last few years in terms of trying to both understand public opinion and, and how to um, communicate those messages more the Meteorological Society have said nothing about chemtrails, they just pay for half of it. Well, some of it, they are donated. Well, why don't you go on national TV and say we are chemtrailing the whole of the UK and half the rest of the world. Why don't you communicate that? Some people made decisions which really were based on a misunderstanding of what poverty and diet's risk was. And there seems to be there's a danger of that here. Obviously, a lot of very important long-term decisions are being made in the light of the scientific uh, conclusions. You so you hide behind scientific reports and make your decisions accordingly but they don't explain it to the public. That's, that's the essence of it. Correct. They make decisions when the information has not been interpreted correctly. Yes, the example being chemtrails. Get real. Exercise. 